Here's a message that I have for you, Alex. Just finished the walk, but I recorded this a little bit earlier. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and I was walking, and I was listening to a couple of Alex Ramosi's podcast episodes. I think that Alex is, I love how Alex always digs deeper. Um, there's a, something called deductive reasoning, which we all know if we're into Sherlock Holmes or any kind of you know, thrillers, legal fiction novels, or whatever like that. There's deductive reasoning, but there's something called inductive reasoning, which not everybody knows about, but actually Alex does very, very brilliantly. And Alex does this as well as Layla. I love the way both of them think, and I think that they're a remarkably excellent couple as entrepreneurs and as successful uh, leaders and just the way they break stuff down. Inductive reasoning is the ability to take facts and extrapolate from those facts the actual underlying, what are the principles that actually make those actual, what would that bring those together that amplify them? Deductive reasoning, you, that's where people take facts and they kind of like come to conclusions, but they don't actually, whereas inductive reasoning is actually bringing back, what are the laws behind those? It's a little bit of reverse engineering for those that are familiar with that, who have listened to Gary Vee and understand reverse engineering. It's a little bit of that, but it's even a little bit more. So it's not just looking at what's the structure and the anatomy of, but what's the underlying principle. It's more along the lines of what Simon Sinek is very well known for, which is like start with why, okay? And so with that, and the reason that I'm doing, stating this is because I think that Alex is very, very brilliant in what he does. I also will say, this is from me to you, Alex, I've watched several interviews. I find that those interviews grab the low hanging fruit where it's like the obvious things of how did you do this and how did you do that and da 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 and it's all the obvious stuff but as i've been listening and enjoying your podcast you look at it's like how do you determine how someone's going to be who's going to be the wealthiest of these people in front of me who's going to be the wealthiest and you look at their relationship to time or you look at amongst those people here who's going to be the actual best salesperson or what is it that actually Harvard's doing? Are they actually producing the smartest people? Or are they actually just choosing and selecting the smartest people and actually simply helping amplify what's already there? These are smart observations. These are terrific. The reason that I say these is this. I want to invite you, Alex, to actually have a conversation with me to share with, you know, on my YouTube channel and elsewhere. It's not because I've got the biggest following. I do have a very, a peop, the people that do follow me, they love the content that I bring to them. It's a very loyal following. It's a very, very, it's a very finite community that I have, but it's a worthwhile and deep community. And I invite you because I appreciate what you do. I appreciate how you break things down. I like to think that I break things down in a similar way in my respective area of branding. You do it with regard to the sales, and customer retention and acquisition, etc. And I love that you apply it there. I do something parallel with branding. Would love to actually have you as a guest on my YouTube channel here. This is my invitation to you. So Alex, we'll see whether or not this resonates with you. We'll see whether or not it connects with you and Layla. Maybe the two of you will join me. I love the parallels that you guys bring to the world. Let's see if you take me up on my offer. There it is. And so I said that a little bit earlier. And with that, I just finished listening to Alex Hormozzi comparing and talking about branding versus direct response. And in it, Alex makes reference to Grant Cardone, where he's only had positive experiences with Grant, which is great, as have I. And actually, even this is what Grant said about me. You've been listening to David Brower today, branding expert, folks. Check out his website, risingabovethenoise.com. David's also a friend of mine. I take him on right now, this second, as a friend. He's a great guy. He's worked with Revlon, Estee Lauder, Jim Henson, Rolling Stone Magazine, New York Times, and... That is unbelievable what he has done... David Breyer, branding expert. You're going to be branding some, at some point in your life. He's a chief gravity defier. We'll be talking about that. His website is rising 
AbovetheNoise.com. Before I do the whole intro, if you go to RisingAboveTheNoise.com, you can get a free ebook. Let's see if this is a fit. I would love for the two of us to be able to sit down and talk about branding, talk about people, talk about impact, talk about influence, talk about retention, talk about maximizing time, maximizing what really matters in life. We're going to make this happen.